What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Bloodborne. I accidentally broke this window off off the video. You break this window just by hitting it. You can go through here. Um, where we we have not found make contact yet. I need to find that. Call beyond. I thought it was. Whoa! Fuck it. Hi. Oh, fuck. Hello. You, you, nice hair, dude. Mega Man. Are you in the mood for uh, what kind of what are those games called? Like what kind of games would you consider those? They're not Metroidvanias, right? Just platformers. That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, we could summon. We can summon the uh, Damien of Mensis, but we're gonna take on a Britos ourselves, the Altar of Despair. So this is the secret the Church was hiding that they found in the, the uh, Chalice Dungeons. A Britos is the daughter of a Great One, I believe, which would make her a Great One herself. I don't know if that counts or not. It did not. A lot of tentacles, a lot of eyes. She has wings. She hits like a fucking truck also. She does some kind of sound attacks, I think, later on, if I remember correctly. I'm dead, yeah. Hard. I think those little green dots are meant to be her eyes, maybe? I don't know. So, the Ender Magnolias game I was talking about, Cookie, would be a Metroidvania style game. Like I said, it's in early access, so it won't be a full playthrough, but it'll be like playing through the content that's currently released for it. Alright, before we go back to her, we... Where do we... Maybe it's like over here somewhere or make contact. Oh yeah, we never did finish the Mortal Kombat playthrough, the cinematic, like the story mode playthrough. That was a lot of fun. I, I never finished it myself either. That would be relatively short. That's not a bad uh, suggestion. Is it like, do you break a window and he, I don't think so. I don't know where it's at. We'll figure it out. I might have to look it up. How did? Whatever. Alright, take two. I do love how, like, there's so many bosses in this game that are completely optional and they're so cool. Do a cooking stream as a killer. I don't know her moveset at all, which doesn't help. She flails about a lot. I know you want to hit her in these. I think you want to hit her in the, her thick, her thick leg things. I don't think you want to go back against her. Magic. I've not played magic in a long time. Oh, her her soundtrack's kind of sick. Like the epic, like, trumpet in the background? Oh, I thought that was a, wasn't a visceral. I'm stuck in her crotch. 
I'm in the crotch of an eldritch being. Help. I think that's a visceral that I can't get. Oh, am I literally stuck? No. Yeah, here comes the sound thing. I forget how this works. Oh god. That's fucking cool. Uh, I don't know what happened right there, but I'm building a frenzy. I'm gonna take a fuck ton of damage here in a second. Oh no, the backswing. Get reborn, get unborn, get bloodborne. All right, we do enough damage, obviously. Just got to be careful not to get caught in that second phase. I thought we would have got a visceral. I, she probably fell down for the visceral, and I just didn't follow up on it. I want to spend this insight really quick to reduce our frenzy buildup. We need to do that anyway for the for the uh, next zone after Mikolesh, anyway, so it works out. Yeah, all the bosses are pretty wild looking. That's what happens when you get into Eldritch Horror or a Cosmic Horror. Uh, we could buy a chunk. I don't think that's worth it though. Is there anything else? Fuck, there's nothing else to buy. Anything good here? No. I don't need any of this stuff. I don't know if we need this or not. Good enough. Down to two. Okay, I want to go back, which is gonna be here. Bloom and flower. Oh, do you know where make contact is in the game by chance? Where to get that emote at? I thought it was up here somewhere in the church area, the upper cathedral ward. What is happening? What? Why it do that? That's the beast hit thing going down, but why is it doing that? Oh, all right, whatever. All right, I probably just missed it. This area is not that big, so I probably just made a wrong turn somewhere. Let's try not to die this time. Stay between her thick thighs and just deal damage. Okay. Got head bonked. Bolt paper would be good here, but we can't use it. Dude, I love this soundtrack. Like, I don't even know what hit me there. I'm stuck. Oh, we're taking like 
damage over time. Oh, I rolled! Apparently not fast enough. Yeah, there's like a, like a field around her when she does that. Cool. I think staying in the blood blade mode is probably the right move here, as long as we can. Not knowing her moves that just makes things a little sketchy, because like obviously we're taking constant damage when we're in that mode. And then also, like, her moves are so sporadic that it's like hard to like line them up correctly. Excuse me. Don't mind me. Relax. Stuck on her tentacle. <laughs> oh, I'm going to die. Three bursts? So I think I might have been safe when I was underneath her right there. That seems like wish wishful thinking though. I feel like in past times when I fought her, I didn't have to deal with that. I must have been doing more damage. I'm, it's probably because I'm, I'm splitting points between skill and blood tinge. If I would have leaned completely into blood tinge once we get the Chikage, the blood blade mode would be doing a lot more damage now, I bet. Even though I do think our damage is, is mostly okay. I don't think we're doing, like, not enough. My usual strat for Bloodborne bosses is just kill them before they do anything. More so than necessarily, more so than, uh, like, other Souls games for sometimes. Yeah, the sound that she makes is very high-pitched. I should have went for the head there. Oh, I'm in a bad spot. Oh, 
Oh no. I don't even know what's happening. Just goes down. Sorry, you really can't see a lot of that fight because you stay right underneath her, so it's hard to see what she's actually doing. But we got the great Iz Chalice. And then, unfortunately, we'll, we'll baby Rom here. It's the Altar of Despair, but you can't do anything with it. There's only one interaction that I know of, and that is with the Vile Blood Queen. If she is killed, you can revive her here. I am assuming there is, I mean, it seems like they almost intended to do something else with that. Cause like that singular, singular use seems kind of, I don't know, pointless. Well, she's not dead right now, Cookie. We'd have to give an NPC a certain invitation, which I missed, I think in Kaner's, ca <coughs> Kaner's castle. And then he would go there to kill her. Uh, we serve her, why would we kill her? It, it, it doesn't do anything for the story, unfortunately. Like. Yeah, you, you can, um... No, just kill her to revive her. That seems kind of pointless. If we, um, if we sent Alfred there, that would be kind of cool, because he just goes and... smashes her, literally. But then you take, like, the chunk that's left over, and, and you can revive her from it. But they don't even acknowledge that it happens. She doesn't even say anything about it. Yeah, you're good now, Catman. It's over. No, it's the first smash, not the second one. Welcome. Very well. Farewell, good heart. All right, we need to go find make contact now. New streamer smashing? No one. Well, my wife, maybe. Sometimes, once, once a year, whatever it is on my birthday. Isn't that what happens when you get married? Um. All right, so we're we're going this way. How do I get down here? fuck did I come in from? Over here, maybe? Did I drop down in here? I walked right past the door, it's right there. I think it's anywhere over here. But it's something similar to this. Alright, Kenny. Sounds good. Thanks for hanging out tonight. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Um, I believe the answer is yes, Cookie. You should.
Can you climb? No. You ascended, but you can't climb, of course. Whoa! Is there something up here you're supposed to do? Ow. Alright, let me try to shake him off, like Alt said. There we go, so you can. He only got one insight that time. Wow, so Blood Tinge is hitting him way harder than regular. Yeah, that makes sense. I wonder if it was like over here somewhere you can get outside. I don't know. But yeah, Cookie, I would take July 5th off. I think I might do that too. Whoa! I might have to look it up. You have to make sure you can. Your coworker who just got back that, um, my coworker who just got back that you're recovering for is going to London that week. You don't know if she's leaving the end of the week. Gotcha. Right, so you'd have to cover for her if she was gone. Hopefully it works out, though. Dude, I don't know where it's at. Like, it would... This area, this is all the... Oh, wait. <laughs> I found it. Let's do... No. Oh, hi, chat. Alright, we'll, we'll need this for later. There's a reason we got that, obviously. Alright. Good enough. How do I get out of here now? Bro! Unbelievable. Well, I didn't want to go this way, but we're going this way now. <laughs> Get me out of here! I have to look at my schedule too, Cookie. I would like to take July 5th off too, but July 4th is on a Thursday. That's a good idea. Okay. Um, I'm just going to spend these. Yeah, we have 97 in the bank now. So if I get really stuck somewhere, we're going to be all right. And we're going to head over to, I think, Murgo's Loft Middle. You may be wondering who Murgo is. We do not know yet. You never really get to find out, like, fully who Murgo is. But either way... <clears throat>
All right, this should be a new area we have not been to yet. Yeah. This is right after Mikolesh. All right, let's go. All right, full disclosure, Murga is the crying baby. <laughs> now you know. Oh, I... You're supposed to get out right there. I think we're in winter lantern land again. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up, Ev? We're definitely not in Kansas. Oh, you are way stronger than the old ones. Ah, I'm getting gnawed on. It feels so weird. Like a mouse under there. <laughs> um, I thought that they were gonna be around the same health pool as the ones that we fought in the Nightmare Frontier. They were not, because it took two hits to kill them. It takes five, I think, to kill that one. Oh, that's all different. That's the shortcut to the end of the area, I think, right there. Okay, gravity is still active in the game, it seems. <clears throat> Good to know. Try again. This time with less falling, hopefully. Too slow on the sedative. Now I know there's more. Can cold blood eleven? Maybe not. I thought there were more. There's probably more somewhere here. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, 
item. Nice. Sedative, it's fine. We don't want to burn through. I don't know. We really, I don't think are going to need those much longer once we get through all the winter lantern stuff, which I think there's still more of them. All right, now we get more uh, spider people, but they're not patches, <laughs> they're just other ones. Oh, your arcade stick was probably has been properly wired. Hell yeah. Is it everything working as uh, intended now and all good then? Hmm. Okay. Time to pull the lever. I can't remember if it's just one lever in Bloodborne or if there's more of them I need to pull. Oh yeah, that's the thing that was causing madness. It's just one. Goodbye! The Brain of Mensis is what it's called. Another Lovecraftian reference. Not the Mensis part, but the what the creature is similar to. Uh oh, what the fuck's hitting me? You gotta be fucking kidding me. Wrong lever. Dude, fucking frenzy is so brutal in this game. That's okay. I can pr skill issue. <laughs> Kinda, yeah. I should have just healed. We're gonna run past the other ones though. We're low on sedatives, so we might just have to heal through everything, which is not ideal, but it is what it is. Grandma didn't come back to Odin Chapel, so we can't bum any more sedatives off her. Well, there goes 30,000 runes down the drain. You gotta build the finger muscle memory and the finger muscles utilize the stick to its max potential. That's fair. I've never played, uh, well, besides like in an arcade, actually in an arcade, I've never played a, a game with an arcade stick, like a fighting game. Especially never with a custom made one. That's cool though. Wrong button. Story of my life. Oh, it's still bodies undetectable. We'll see if it does anything again to avoid the winter lantern up here. No, it does not. That's not going to fill up, right? From one little ding? Okay. Let's 
I like how they put it across that little beam right there too. With every tweak you do, do you think of two more? Oh, that's still cool though. You're gonna have a completely custom piece of hardware you made yourself. I like that. Chest. Choir bell, which is another item. I think it might be a heal, actually. What's the purpose of you? Why, why are there just two scooters just chilling here? Hey, thanks, Ev. Is there something else you're supposed to do here? I can't imagine dropping down. <laughs> what is that right there? The fuck am I looking at right there? Dude, <laughs> where's my monocular? Is that a person right there? What the fuck? It's a persona. I'm confused. What? What is that supposed to be? Where is this at? Dude, I don't. Or is that just a dead enemy? No, that's a. That was a. That's a choir or a church person right there. They're dead though. Maybe I picked an item up off them before. How the fuck do you get out of here? That makes sense. <laughs> Bunch of arcane or great ones wise wisdom. Great ones wisdom, not wise wisdom. <laughs> Locked. Really? Okay. Did I miss a key? I wonder why that's locked. Blood rock. <sighs> Fuck. I... I definitely missed something up there.
Like, there should be an elevator you can take down, but maybe you take it down from somewhere else. Oh, this is it right here. I think. That door was locked though, which I'm confused by. Are right, you guys ready for something fucking creepy? It's the brain of Mensis. And the eye follows you. All right. Now it's time to wait. We're going to try to make contact with it. And this is like my favorite one of my favorite little Easter egg. Well, not Easter egg, but little hidden parts of Bloodborne. And I like how it makes you wait like a longer than you'd expect amount of time. Compared to your mom, that's nothing. <laughs> I kid, I kid. I don't kid, oh God. There it is. The complete moon rune. Unfortunately, you must die now. As Evelyn told us, a, a hunter must hunt. <laughs> kind of depressing. It's not even, you can't even do anything to hurt us now. It's just chilling here in the darkness alone. Fire! Oh! I didn't realize the other eye follows you too. A lot of fucking health. Goodbye. Goodbye? We got a living string, which I don't know. That might be a chalice dungeon thing. Anyways, I thought it was really cool. This whole area, that's how like the complete like darkness of this area and the brain or the brain immense is being there and everything. And the make them even using make contact, like that whole little section is just so cool. Hi. I think he just shot me in the head. Seventeen hundred, seventeen hundred uh, blood echoes a piece. They're worth killing. Almost fell down there. All right, we'll go back to the night or to the dream. And uh, we get the blood rock, so we can actually take the Chicago to plus ten now. We got some new blood gems too, so maybe we can upgrade it. I wonder what that. Uh, that door is bothering me though. I feel like I missed a key or something somewhere. Or you can't open it. I don't know. I probably missed something. 
realistically. No, I didn't hit as the door tries to shut. There's some really cool like maps that people have created of like what like the world of Bloodborne looks like. Like you have like Yarnum, but then like you have all the nightmares and how they're stacked on each other. It's really cool if you guys ever look it up and check it out. We can give the messengers a different accessory too. They've had the hats the whole game. I think I think they look good in the hats personally. I think I was back here at the stump. Ah, uh, let's give them messenger urn festival. Jarheads. <laughs> All right, Chicago going to plus 10. Complete. Evelyn needs another blood rock for plus nine. All right, let's check our blood gems now. Weapon durability down minus 54 is probably not gonna be ideal. Straight upgrade right there. Weapon durability down. I don't, want, I don't want to do weapon durability down. That'll just end badly for me. So we're at 194 plus 2 in plus 257. The blood one would put us at 271. That brings that down to 197 though. Um, was it just thrust? Hmm, that'd be a good increase to blood attack, 21%. I'll think about that. We might end up doing that. That heal's not due. We'll just put the damn. We'll put it on the Evelyn for right now. Add a bunch more attack to it. If we gotta shoot something to death. All right. Um. Let's level up. Plus eleven. Give us ten thousand. Is that enough for a level Welcome. up? 37k? Probably not, Very honestly. Lovely. No, it is. Nice. Farewell, good mate. Alright, so. Let's go check out some more of Murgo's Loft in the Nightmare Mensis. We want to go left now. See what's over there. I know there's Shadows of Yarnum over there for sure, which I don't think will be that bad to fight now. Through the wall. Down here. Ah, yes, nothing.
pig. Be very quiet. Honk. Oh, I didn't put the better moon rune on. 10,000 for one kill. There's your farming spot then. Is there another pig down here? Chunks? Yeah. All right, we can upgrade Evelyn now. Oh, I hear, I hear pig. gaggle of shadows right there. Double pig. Pigs with extra eyes too. Oh, they called the boys in. Are the boys fighting the pig? Oh shit, they fucked it up. Thanks. I did not know you could get them to fight them. That's cool actually. There was a shiny there. There's a couple shinies back here. Am I going to go late and beat the game tonight? We're not going to beat the game tonight because we. I am close to the end of the base game, uh, but not close to the end of the DLC. Obviously, we haven't been to the... Well, we, when we did go to the DLC, it was, there, we, it was a brief, brief adventure there just for the Beast Hunter Scythe. Uh, no, probably not. It's probably, probably an hour or more left. Well, maybe. Depends on how fast I kill the bosses, obviously. Fighting four of these guys at one time is definitely not ideal. Fighting three wasn't ideal. Nice candle, bro. Got pyromancers out here. Oh, he just like, he said, fuck, fuck the boys, I guess, and just left. <laughs> There's Queen Yarn, I'm crying. Wonder why. Let's grab the shortcut. Who's this? Oh, it's a Yosefka's blood vial. Okay. I don't know why that's there. Oddly enough. Also, Cookie, we can't complete the base game. Um, because that'll push, that automatically pushes you into new, to new game plus, then we would lock ourselves out of the DLC. But it is time to fight another boss, I believe. It's a baby. So the baby is Murgo. That's uh 
Mergo's wet nurse right there. I believe this is meant to be a, 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 a great one or whatever, because I think Mergo's wet nurse is controlling the nightmare right now. And by killing the wet nurse, you'd end the nightmare. Oh, that goes around back. We're doing a fuck ton of damage. No! No! All right, we gotta run. Ah! Just run! Oh my God, run! The extendo arms. I don't know how long it lasts. It's still not over. I should have just tried to kill it, kill it whenever I was I had the chance. Okay, here we go. Maybe. That's the real one. Okay. I thought this ends. This is not end. Am I wrong? Do you like the music box song? Yeah. It's creepy. You know what? Fuck you. I got a gun. Blood tinge build. Nightmare slain. I think. Oh, not yet. You know what? Maybe Murgo is the is the great one, technically. There it is, Nightmare Slain. And you get another third of an umbilical cord right there. <clears throat> Every great one loses his child and then yearns for a surrogate. This cord granted Mensis audience with Murgo, but resulted in the stillbirth of their brains. Bam. Now, I believe the dream is going to be in a state of chaos. Yes, it's uh, on fire. Good hunter, you have come. Dawn will soon break. This night and this dream will end. Gammon awaits you at the foot of the great tree. So technically, you can get the first ending of the game here which is allowing Gearman to allow you to awaken in the waking world again, which I guess arguably would be the good ending because um, you escape the nightmare and the hunter's dream and it's all over. It's daylight, like the sun comes up. It's all happy. Go lucky. The other ending you can get is you opt to fight Gearman, kill him. Don't use the umbilical cords. You then become the new Gearman in the dream for reasons. And then you have the secret third ending if you use the umbilical cords. Very well. Then. Farewell. All right, we should be good to go then. So that that is essentially the end of the base game, with the option to fight two additional bosses, which we're gonna do. Um, but obviously, before we do that, we are going to go to the um, to the DLC and do the entirety of the DLC, which will take a little while. 
Um, let's go ahead and take Evelyn up to plus nine. We need some echoes. Yeah, so we're making really good progress through Bloodborne. We're about, we're pretty close. I mean, the DLC is going to take a little while to get through. I can guarantee that part already. Um, but yeah, overall, not too bad so far. Oh, you know what? Before I forget, we're going to do this right now. We're going to switch out the moon rune for the real moon rune. Uh, does this have anything interesting? Yeah. All right. The great ones that inhabit the nightmare are sympathetic in spirit and often answer when called upon. Now we know. What does this do? Oh, you know, we could have put on the resistance for the frenzy. Yeah, deep sea would have been good. No, oh, it's too late now. It's okay. I'm going to leave on the moon rune right now so we still continue, we continue to get a bunch of uh, echoes so we can keep leveling up because it'll be beneficial. But anyways, if you're watching on YouTube, that is going to wrap it up. Uh, for this episode next time we head back into the hunter's nightmare and uh, which is the DLC and we start progressing through that for real this time so as always if you're watching on YouTube thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one peace